Welcome to the NOAA Satellite Operations Facility. I'm Greg Marlowe, Director of Satellite Operations. Let's go inside and check out the Space Weather Follow-On Mission Operations Rehearsal. Mission rehearsals are really all about the team. Exercising and practicing with the team. You can review the material at your desk. Um, you can know, you know, the steps to execute, but actually getting your hands on the keyboard in front of the system I think that's very exciting and it's a good test. We'll have upwards of 60 people. We have a lot of very complicated ground systems that we deal with in terms of the antenna systems, ground control here, making sure the voice systems, uh, the facilities that are, that are here locally and remote across the, across the country. You have controllers that are operating the spacecraft, you're having uh, different uh, subsystem engineers for both the spacecraft and the instruments and you're all trying to work together, and it's a very calculated dance. It's the collaboration, I think, also resolving differences in communication methods. I think finding where maybe um, there's a disconnect uh, is good to find in the rehearsal so that when you're in, in launch uh, for real, that you actually resolve some of maybe your communication blocks. Launches are super exciting, and you want them to go perfect, um, but then you want to make sure that they're ready for an anomaly and that's what you know our mission rehearsals would do. Nominal operations are those that execute as designed. If we're aiming for perfection, it's, it's meeting the goals or the objectives of the specific task versus contingency where at least one thing has failed. You've strayed from nominal and something has gone wrong, something is flagging and you want to you know, pull out your contingency. Uh, maps, your flow diagrams, your procedures, and compare to what has gone wrong and try to steer back to nominal and get close to perfection as possible. If we have the, the foundational processes in place, we can adapt it to whatever the scenarios are thrown at us. I'm looking forward to a successful launch. We are a ride share, so uh, we, we go whether we're ready or not. We're, we're kind of a passenger you know, on the Falcon 9 uh, rocket. It's about an hour and a half. Uh, uh, transfer to where we are deployed from the launch vehicle. Once you get out to orbit, you'll uh, power the instruments on and you're going to start doing testing. Um, and we call that post-launch testing, PLT. We go through activation and commissioning and, you know, over a six month period of time uh, to, before handing over uh, to NOAA for operation long term, hopefully for the next five to ten years. Every time you get a launch, there's a lot of new technology, especially from the instruments that you're getting, new capabilities, better data, um, quicker data, that latency time um, from old sets of data to new sets of data. It's just that much better. 